All right, folks. Well, appreciate you jumping on the call uh, and joining us for this great webinar that uh, that Michael's bringing you. So I'm uh, Will Overlander. I'm the account director at Brand My Bank. Um, so I was the point of contact for everything that you're about to see that happened uh, to help bring this almost $3 million of growth to our uh, account in just 90 days. And to help us get through all this webinar, I'm going to be introducing uh, the owner of Brand My Bank. Uh, he is a published author of America's Leading, and he's America's Leading Community Bank Expert. Um, he's the CEO of Brand My Bank. Um, and he helps banks and credit unions increase deposits. For the past 10 years, Brand My Bank has helped clients double their assets from 500 million to over a billion dollars. And he's architected advertising campaigns that are going to increase deposits with over 4,000% ROI. So without further ado, here he is, Mr. Michael Nguyen. Thank you, Will. Thank you so much. And uh, um, so let's get started. I know that we are right up the, up the mark and uh, I'm excited. So some of you uh, may hear me uh, from the webinar with Chris Nicole uh, last month. And uh, today's webinar is basically um, a short of part to you, if you will. I know that uh, last month um, I and Chris uh, cover uh, sort of high level uh, strategy and tactics. And when I reach out to follow with some of the folks, and they said, you know, what, you know, I need some some strategy to really uh, fit in my in my situations, and and that's exactly why today I want to share with you a real case study uh, from a real client that I'm, I'm working with um, to share with you what's going on and what's behind the scene uh, and under the hood, so that you um, uh, hopefully you can uh, take a good note today. Uh, I'll, I'll promise I'll, I'll, I'll go real slow, uh, and so that you can take notes and. Um, uh, extract some of the insight uh, from what worked for us and hopefully you can uh, replicate a success uh, to your organizations. And uh, feel free if you're along the way, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to type in, into the chat windows and uh, Will and, and my staff will, um, uh, will take notes of that and uh, will let me know and then we can, and then I try to answer as many as possible um, at the end of the webinars. Um, like we mentioned that I, um, our, our agency helped double the client asset from uh, 500 million dollars over to over a billion dollars and here's a screenshot I took from uh, the FDIC uh, to show you um, about the um, about the, uh, the figures before and after and this is exactly the case that I'm going to talk about today um, as you, you realize that the case that the client spent about 66 over 66 thousand dollars in advertising budget and within 90 days um, this is the exactly the email word by word email uh, from uh, from a client and uh, he said you know five account being opened for 2.8 million dollars so are you excited if you decided to say yes and then I'll, I'll just give me some motivation then we can get started just type yes in the in the chat box and we can get rolling And also, we help our, um, our um, uh, to double the, the student checking account as well in, in the period of three months. Okay, so what are you going to learn today? So today, you will uh, discover the, the 3M triangle. Uh, this is our, our proprietary um, a technique um, to uh, find holes in your product or services or in your uh, um, campaigns. And, 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 and so, Hopefully you learn the techniques and, and how you can use them uh, to increase deposits. And the second thing is you will learn about the process, my process, to on how to take an underperforming products and turn it into a deposit machine. And last but not least, um, uh, we talk about traffic sources, and um, we discover uh, more more and better source of, of, of traffic besides. Uh, Facebook and Google and lastly you will learn about the landing page like I mentioned about on the uh, last webinar with Chris and uh, landing is especially very important um, for um, for everybody uh, to really uh, increase the conversions and getting more deposits okay 3M triangles for finding holes in your product and services now um, I I'm going to play 
a very short conversation between um, between uh, me and um, and your fellow bankers, and this is sort of like plant a seed on how I use you that case study and and the mistakes and the shortcomings uh, that um, um, that that banker made, so that you can learn from uh, from what's what's going on and how you can um, how you can prevent it. So here you go. I mean, I think it was three months, but we didn't do the three months because we didn't get anything after the first month. So I think the three months was 14 to 16,000 for each platform, which we used NOLA.com, which was the newspaper here, and The Advocate, which is a popular newspaper here. We did only digital, mm -hmm. and we also were included in their extended network. So what's the total number? Well, we didn't do the whole three months because, first of all, NOLA was purchased by the advocate. So they're kind of like trying to work through their merger. And so we didn't want to put place the ad and continue it when they were becoming one newspaper. So we only did one month. Um, it would have been 30,000 for three for 12 weeks. We, we seem like we got a lot of impressions and seemed like we got a lot of clicks, but we didn't get any applications. All right. So that is exactly the, uh, the, the conversation that I had. Um, uh, we Kate, of course, the name and change it for uh, for privacy purpose. Um, so, so there you go. They got lots of impressions, lots of clicks uh, from from the campaigns, and uh, they invested in, uh, invested ten thousand um, dollars, but they did not get any applications. And today I will uh, dissect uh, what's going on behind the scenes and um, the reason why uh, stopping the campaign midway through is uh, is a no no. All right, so let's move forward to, um, of course, from what you, uh, from from the from the conversation that you heard between me and Kate, uh, she was sort of confused, right? Because she didn't know, like, you know, like really, really what's going on and how that campaign didn't turn out as expected, and there were a lot of confusion because I didn't include all, the entire conversation to you, but there were lots of confusion um, whether you know, like, what sh what she should do and and uh, what, what strategy that she should follow or what kind of things that she should uh, take into to consideration about her ads and her message. There are a lot of things, there are a lot of things going on, there's a lot of confusions. So hopefully today, uh, what you learn about the 3M uh, triangle will clear up some of the confusions. Here you go. Here actually the gist of the 3M triangle is based on uh, the market, uh, uh, medium, and the message. Okay, so now I'm gonna dive deeply into what each of the element means, and then I'll throw in some of the examples along with that. Okay, 3M, first one, the market. All right, in the market, you're trying to understand as much as possible, who is your target audience, all right? Who is your target audience? And we're trying to understand from the perspective of uh, the demographics, um, like who are they? Like, um, um, uh, what's the income level? Um, are they, are they married or single? How many kids they have? And where do they live? Those kind of basic information that we'll collect uh, way in advance uh, to understand um, about, you know, about uh, the target audience. And secondly, besides the, the demographics, we also talk about the psychographics, right? What do they like? What what uh, uh, who are they following? Like we, we, right now, we are living in the in the social media world, and um, and um, and they follow a lot of uh, uh, thought leaders, influencers. We need to find out who do they follow. Like, what kind of concert do they go to? Um, what kind of books they read? What kind of podcast are they listening to? Right. So those kind of things will shape their their beliefs and um, shape their mind, their beliefs, and how they would um, perceive your message. So here's an example of um, our whiteboard uh, that I did for a client. Of course, I, uh, I modified the name for privacy. And as you can see um, on our whiteboard, we wrote down very specifically, who is our target audience uh, from, uh, from their, uh, the, invo uh, from their um, the income, um, what kind of uh, characteristics that they should have, right? And uh, to make sure that you can read easily, and here's what uh, that we wrote on the board, you know, like to say, okay, for example, the IRA and the tax planning target audience. So our audience should be existing bank customers, and they should be over 40, and they should have 
uh, 401k uh, with the potential to rollovers. And those are the things that we talk with our client and trying to figure out who, who is the best target um, that we have the best chance uh, to reach them. Okay, so what else? And uh, so basically, I'll, I took the liberty um, uh, to um, uh, you know go through our attendee list and pick one bank, and then trying to understand what happened. So this bank, I'm going to pick. This is the Seattle Bank, and uh, the product is private banking, right? So the target audience, um, from what I researched on the website and and uh, and they are in the neighborhood they are serving. So the target audience are business owners, professionals, entrepreneurs, high net worth families in the Seattle areas. That's the that's the target audience for the private banking, right? So that's that's what I'm trying to do. And along the way, um, some of you registered the webinar um, uh, today or yesterday, so that's why I did not have a chance um, to uh, uh, to do a deep dive, a little deep dive into your case. But uh, some of you registered earlier and then you will see uh, some of your cases uh, will appear in the webinar. Okay, the second one, message. The message, what does it mean? We're trying to find out um, how we can design the message so that we can speak uh, the audience language. And we're trying to find out how it will address um, uh, their, their needs, the want, and really, the end of the day is that how to invite them to take action, right? Because that's really the key uh, to a successful campaign. You can, like what you saw from Kate, they got lots of clicks, lots of impressions, but no applications, right? But that's exactly the reason why we need to design the language in a way or the copywriting in a way to invite more action uh, from your target audience. And I want to share with you uh, one example right here. So uh, we're talking about um, uh, our products like the wealth management, and then that's where we trying to have different spins uh, about the message on a product, such as um, making sense of wealth management. Uh, wealth management um, is easier than you think, and growing wealth now is the futures or pain-free wealth management. You see, we play with different spin, different varieties of messages, and and then we we use that information based on the information that we collected, uh, like the demographics, the psychographics profile, and that's how some of the variety that we came up with. And the last one is the uh, 3M triangle. Um, the last one is called the medium, right? And um, so okay, so now you got the uh, you got the, the the market. You identify the target audience. Uh, you also um, what else? You also identify the the message that really um, makes sense to your target audience. The next step is that how do you reach them? And as you realize, there's so many different channels that you can reach out to your target audience um, from you know YouTube, uh, Google's, um, you know uh, Facebook, and you see the the choices are just you know, like it's overwhelming, right? And that is exactly uh, why understanding uh, so deeply about your target audience will help you eliminate some of the, or most of the, um, um, the, the, the channel so that you can uh, focus your, your marketing budget into the right channel so that you can maximize the reach. And really in this, in this medium, you just ask several basic questions, like where do they spend the most time at? What mediums do your prospect congregate? And how do, how do they find a solution for the needs, right? By answering those questions, you will find more insight and you will identify or eliminate uh, mediums uh, that, don't, that, that you don't see fit. Because in this day and age, attention is the new currency. It doesn't matter how how good or how awesome your products are if you don't have the attention or you, you don't have the traffic to that you still bump uh, you, you know you, you i mean you still you still um uh, you know um uh, uh, turn to a very negative or very unprofitable um campaign at the end of the day 
like what uh, Kate mentioned, got lots of clicks and lots of impression, but no, no results, no applications. Okay, um, next one. Before I go in further, um, uh, will do we have any uh, question from the chat box? I make sure that I, I want to answer any question before I, I go further. Nothing yet, Michael. Nothing yet. Fantastic, guys. Feel free to add any to um, to type your question in the chat box and uh, and slow me down because this is a chain that you can learn. I just chain that you can um, um, uh, that, you know that 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 I can answer your questions. Okay, the second, how now the process and how to take an underperforming product and turn it into a deposit machine. And what product am I talking about? The product I'm talking about is the general wealth management services, the IRA and tax planning services, the investment, the custodial uh, services. And according, this is, is according to our client, those those products they are not widely known and they not they're not even understood by the general uh, public. There's so much things going on about IRA and tax planning and the investment advice, and so many things going on. So. Um, that there are lots of confusions, and and really, this is um, when we were tasked with this um, uh, campaign with this product. We said, "Wow, this is really a hard product to uh, to market." Because unlike uh, checking account, unlike uh, CDs, which people know pretty much exactly what they're gonna get, but uh, for RRA, tax planning, investment, it's really hard to explain in in just one or two sentences. Right, because there's there's so much so many things that you can talk about that. So uh, one more times, and this is the a whiteboard that we talk about, and I just expand several things. So besides, you see on the left uh, on the left uh, box, you can see the some of the existing campaign or messages that we uh, that we came up with, and then we came up even more. Right, like seriously, simple wealth management um, yeah, should it be a surprise. Uh, did you know who manages your wealth? Something like that. So that's why we're trying to come up with many. The key, that's the first. The first step is that do not filter, right? You trying to come up with as many ideas as as possible, and then you can narrow down because it's much easier to add than to delete or subtract. All right. So based on the the whiteboarding, uh, we came up with four designs. Right, design one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now, um, the audience, I want to, I want you to um, uh, quickly guess. Okay, what, what is the winning design? What is the winning design? You, you, you just need to type one, two, three, and four um, uh, into the chat windows, and then I'll, then I will reveal to you uh, the winning design at the end of the day, um, and then how we can. Uh, uh, took that winning design and even expand further. All right, so you got about uh, five seconds. So, uh, Will, do you have anything from the front chat box? No responses yet. Come on, guys. What do you think? All right, so looks like the Oscar goes to design number one. Number one, making sense of wealth management. So this is actually the winning design um, after multiple rounds of revisions and presentation to our client and, and uh, to, uh, uh, to the wealth management team and uh, we decided to uh, pick this design, making sense of wealth management. And from that, as you can see, we developed many different um, uh, formats um, for uh, for this concept, right? As you can see right now, this is the billboard that we designed, um, making sense of wealth management, so that you can see from very far away um, how 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 stood out the billboard uh, when you when you when you drive along the freeway. 
So besides the billboard, uh, we went ahead and created several uh, variation of the banners, like making sense of, making sense of wealth, man uh, wealth management, making sense of investment and estate plannings, uh, making sense of IRAs and tax plannings, right? So those are the the, uh, the different variations that we use uh, for uh, different uh, marketing mediums that we'll show you uh, in the next um, in the next uh, bullet point. And there you go. As a result, yeah, from that winning campaigns, uh, we achieved over three over three million impressions, which is quite equivalent to you can say equivalent to um, you know. Um, um, uh, 3 million views and we got on, a, on the landing page we got over 14,000 more than 14,000 website visits and that led to um, uh, this is the final number 3.5 million uh, deposits the one I show you from email that's what he um, that's what he got so far but then after that he updated that number uh, to even more than uh, so then uh, 2.8 uh, the, the end number is 3.5 million dollars so so that's really the um, uh, how you would use the process to come up with uh, different um, um, messages, and then the same process that you can um, narrow down different options and then come up with the winning uh, message, and that will lead you to the winning campaign. Okay, so uh, moving on. Um, to uh, section number three, favorite my favorite success, uh, secret traffic sources, and uh, there are more and better traffic sources than Google and Facebook uh, for growing deposits. Uh, before uh, going further, uh, Will, do we have any questions so far? No, sir. All right, let's keep moving. Wow, you guys are smart. All right, so here's the um, the the the, the uh, snapshot of uh, that's that particular campaign that I just showed you uh, for wealth management. Uh, the client spent about 45, um, uh, the 66,000 that will include not only the digital, but also some of the um, the budget for the prints as well as for the billboard. Uh, but the overall digital budget is, 40, is over $45,000. And you can see the breakdown and which I'm gonna share with you exactly for on, on Google Ads, uh, Facebook, programmatics, uh, Pandora and uh, and Omni uh, Media, and this is also the breakdown for the the total number of impressions, over three million impressions. And as you can see, the programmatic um, has the most impressions. That, like I mentioned earlier, beside Google and Facebook, um, programmatic is also my favorite uh, traffic source because it can bring you immediate attention, right? Immediate attention, um, and also we uh, use Pandora for a reason because uh, besides uh, the visual aspect of uh, Google Ads or, or the ban ad, we want to um, um, uh, reach, we, 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 we want to use voice, you know, to transfer the excitement of the message uh, to the audience while they are listening uh, to uh, either to Pandora or to Spotify. We chose Pandora in this case. And here's also the um, the uh, breakdown of the website visits and sessions. Um, of course, the pro the programmatics and omni media they sort of they dominate um, the and the uh, uh, the entire campaigns and uh, Google Ads uh, and Facebook and Pandora as well. All right, I want to talk about uh, Google Ads. So specifically for Google Ads, we spent uh, we spent about eight thousand dollars. And we got 491 clicks for uh, over 31,000 impressions. And here's what I'm going to share with you: very specific campaign, very specific screenshot that I that I took. Um, so here's the the ad that we created for our client, right? So traditional uh, IRA versus 401k, and like you said, we created a lot of ads because because we don't know because they because um, different ad will target different or will address different emotional need um, so that's why because of uh, the um, the extensiveness of the ad we just showing you a couple um, to, to, to show you how, how effective Google ads can be as as the uh, as a primary 
um, or, or as the um, beginner or beginning uh, medium that you can use immediately uh, to draw traffic or to get attention to your offer. So this is the one that we have for uh, the, the traditional IRA. And then we have another one for uh, the uh, uh, for the trust, right? This is different. This is different ad for the trust, and as you can see, um, um, those links in uh, links in the bottom, right? Trust and investment, 12 North Texas locations. Those are the links that I call the extensions. Like right? this is where you can add more, more. Um, I call it more, uh, more boost for your ads, right? We can imagine if you're not setting up right. Most people will only see um, your header, your, I mean your headline, and then all the way down to the uh, to the uh, black text, and that was it. They don't get to see the trust and investment and the, the, the uh, and mo multiple location that you have, right? So apparently that you need to set up right. Okay, this is where um, there's a lot of things going on, but I'll, I'll do my best to show you what's going on. So here's the snapshot of one campaign from uh, the Google Ads uh, dashboard. And as you can see, there are multiple, there are three boxes, right? Three boxes. And I will explain to you what each box means and how it relates to uh, the case or the conversation that I had with Kate earlier, all right? All right, so the first box. Now, um, so you understand the legend of different colors, right? So the red one stands for uh, the impression, the blue one is the click, and the yellow one is the conversion, and the green line is actually for the cost, right? So as you can see from the beginning of the campaigns, the red line, like, you know, after a quick spike and then, and then took over uh, for a short period of time, and the red line stand for the impressions. And you see the patterns? So the impression really took the lead, took the very early lead from the beginning. And that that that's really exactly um, what was happening for Kate, right? You got lots of impressions, right? Lots of impression, but but because she stopped the campaign midway through, and so let me go through the remaining two boxes and so that you can understand um, the reason why it's a bad idea to stop the campaign right right in the middle. All right, so the second boxes, as you can see, the green line dominates um, um, the remaining of uh, other metrics. The green line stands for the cost, right? So which is right in, right in the middle phase where Google is trying to figure out um, uh, is algorithm or trying to adjusting its algorithm to um, figure out okay with this type of budget how can I maximize or can how I can show your ads even more so that you can get more more impressions and more clicks so so the middle part is where is is where you uh, every single campaign has to go through right and this is the job of Google's and that's what they do. And this is the on the second box. This is where you can see lots of messiness, right? A lot of you know things get messy, and is where you that that, that our team have to pay very close attention um, to this second phase because if thing if, if you didn't manage it right, your budget can go out of whack really fast, and and your campaign will like really turn south very very quickly. All right, and here we go. The the last phase or the last box. See what happened? You see what happens? If you look at the the green line, okay, the green line, uh, in contrast to uh, the previous box, the, the second box, the, where the green line dominates, but in this phase, right, where we are in the the last inning of the game, the green lines really at the like really decrease tremendously, right, and that used the the path for what for the for the yellow line with the conversions that's where you got uh, uh, emails and contact contact information uh, the blue line the clicks um, the red line the impression actually 
the impression that's that's where um, you see the, the 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 blue line is about clicks, and the yellow line is about conversion. Those two lines are more important to you because that is where that's okay. where the, the all of the 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 result happen. That's where you get the ROI, higher ROI for your campaigns. And now you probably guess understand why. Um, if you stopped the campaign midway through, right? If you stop the campaign way early, you will end up ended up like what happened in the first box, where um, you get lots of impression but no but no click but no result. But if you patiently continue with your campaigns, right, and then let Google figure it out, and of course in the same way you have to adjust the campaigns, you have to do a lot of things behind the scenes to make sure that your campaign is going to the right course of actions and he's the last, the sweetness of the result, the last box, that's what you're going to get. Any questions so far? Nothing on our end. All right. So this is a snapshot also from, um, from the Google dashboard, as yes, you can see. We uh, we we handsomely beat Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, Merrill, Merrill Edge. Those are the top dogs in the industry in, in wealth management. You know, uh, we beat them. We beat them by by a by a quite a big gap. You know, um, and and that's how um, um, that's that's the beauty of running campaigns and understand or designing the right message um, uh, to 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 um, uh, to talk very well with uh, the audience or with the target audience. And as you can see, I'll have a screenshot for the average um, a cost per click um, for some of the, uh, that, that we designed from retirement planning, IRA, Roth IRA, Living Trust, and so on and so forth. You can see the cost with the average cost is less than $10, right? And, and if you look at uh, how we ran how we ran the campaign for our client, they will never, they will never get um, uh, get um, past um, position number three. In other words, they can either end up in the first positions or the second positions. That was it, right? So what that means is that you will capture the entire attention for whoever shirt for or looking for um, um, the uh, the services. Um, in the target areas, that's, that's a very big key because if you don't, if you don't set the right uh, budget, uh, the right keywords, you will not end up on the top three position of the Google Search Engine. Um, I want to share with you uh, something that uh, we figured out and we call stack campaigns. Stack campaigns. So it's like stacking coupons. Um, on uh, you know, like when you go shopping and stuff, but we stack campaigns on the Google Search Engines. So here's um, uh, here's another um, campaign that we ran on Google called Investment Management for same client. As you can see, that's how we design and uh, the service catalog, including personal banking, commercial banking, and and so on and so forth. And of course, this is uh, the ad, the, the mobile ad that showed up from the Google ad campaign. That, as you can see, it has the highest uh, CTR stand for click-through rate. Okay, and um, it, sh it, it was it was uh, classified as the most shown ad uh, for that particular campaigns. And for that, just one tiny ad that we have, right, we already uh, achieved uh, over uh, three percent in in click-through rate. Uh, what are you gonna get? And if we even blew, uh, blew Edward Jones, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, Trade, Merrill, Merrill, out of the waters. You can see the huge gap. Okay. So we, um, um, so this impression share. What that means is that the amount of impression that the uh, the ads uh, command on the Google Search Engine. So if you look at the blue dot, okay, it stands at the 55%. Uh, of uh, the impression share. In the meantime, those big guys, at least uh, for Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and Merrill, they were all below the 10% mark. 
and only Edward Jones like inching up a little bit on a on a on a ten percent mark, maybe 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 fifteen percent, but it's still way 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 down. So that's why we were so confident that 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 we can help you even if you are not a mega bank, even if you know even if you yeah uh, you your position in the market is like really uh, the bottom of the market, we still can help you blow those big guys out and elevate you so that you can get more attention you get to get more uh more results uh for your for your campaigns and uh, this chart is pretty interesting and i want to share with you um so if you look at again one more time if you look at the the green line see what happens it will stay sideways all the way for the majority of the campaigns, stay sideways from the beginning to like really uh, three quarter of the campaigns. Where uh, so the cost line really stay the lowest uh, compared to the click, the impression, the conversion. So what does it mean? It means that, that you pay the least for the most results. Pay the least for the most results. That exactly that exactly what what we all hoping for, and we achieve that. Right, and then you could see at the end of the campaign where uh, the cost is, is start to rise because uh, they, they, they really need the end of campaigns, and and that is where Google trying to burn as much money as possible, as much remaining money as possible, right? Because Google is 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 is, is not a nonprofit organization; <laughs> it's a profit organization, and that's why it try to maximize its earnings as, as much as possible, um, and that's why the uh, the blue line uh, really uh, uptick near the end of the campaigns. But if you see, but you see, if you spend more time and really invest into investing your the, the, the effort into running a well managed campaign, and that's what you should expect, right? Um, I had, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I, I, I took some time uh, to go to the attendee list, and um, and I want to share with you a a glimpse of what's going to happen if you use um, the Google Ads uh, for Seattle Bank one more time. And again, they, uh, they, their focus is on private banking. So here's some of the ad recommendations that we put together for them, right? So um, I'm sure you have some, somebody from, if uh, attendee from Seattle Bank, and hopefully you uh, take this screenshot. And uh, if you are thinking about doing the Google Ads, you can actually uh, use these examples uh, or these um, ideas from us, from us um, to uh, get things rolling. And uh, we did further research for them and find out for Seattle, uh, they they can easily get uh, over 10,000 impressions for the cost of $840. And, uh, and, and Literally, it falls in line. The average cost per click CBC stands for cost per, per click of seven dollars and forty-eight cents. It really, it really was in line with what I showed you before on the previous screenshot, where um, the the total cost per click was less than ten dollars for um, for the wealth management, for um, uh, for different kind of um, um, services uh, for my client. And look at the positions, two point three. What that means is that you are still in the top three location, uh, top three spots of Google, the, the most primary, the most uh, prestigious spot of Google. And the cost is $840, right? So it's really, really, um, I would strongly recommend Seattle Bank to uh, start looking to uh, Google Ads uh, because with this campaign, you, um, if you run right, you know, I know Seattle is a, is a is a is a is a big metro area, and if you went right, you could um, get lots of results and you get lots of leads. R and B, all right. So um, I pick one random account, uh, one random product from the website uh, from R and B Bank. So I pick health saving account, save for medical expenses, and live your life carefree. And uh, like I said, this is the uh, recommended. Uh, uh, ads that we that we design, and hopefully you uh, get once once again. Hopefully you can uh, take the screenshot and um, and uh, run your own account. South Point Treasury Management. So I put a little uh, twist 
into um, their, um, their treasury management is that we are the Uber for deposit and door-to-door -door pickup and deposit. So if you already order Uber for, for, for a ride or for food, wouldn't it be awesome to do Uber deposit? And our trained staff uh, come to your office, pick up your checks, deposit for you so that you can focus on running your business. Oh, by the way, it's free. You see what happens? So you can put a little twist and then there you go, you get different ads. But the, the point of the ad is that so that people can click on the ads. Right? So that's why we, we, we came up with uh, the concept of Uber for deposit. Does it help so far? Does it help so far? Uh, I know for South Point or for Seattle Bank or for RMB, this helps so far. If you if it did, um, uh, feel free to uh, put in a chat box. Abbey Bank. So Abbey Bank. Um, there, when I went to the website, I saw the prominent um, product for Abbey Bank is about mortgage loan. So uh, we put together a spins. Uh, okay, that customized mortgage loans and the home loan for every need. Um, and as you go, the, you can see the ad for the, for the mobile and for the desktop, all right? Once again, you can swipe it. Feel free to swipe if you want. Um, and uh, uh, we, we, we're happy to talk more if you uh, got any questions for, for Abby. So that is the, the, the angle that I would start with. First, Colorado Bank. So this is where I try to uh, pick the, uh, the prominent account. In this case, that is the personal banking account. Uh, small business solutions from cash advances to wide transfer take advantage of our in-branch services or so download a mobile banking app today so there you go the mobile app, the mobile screenshot and a desktop screenshot now guys you have to think about mega banks although they are huge they are giant but they can't just spend every single dollar on Google Ads at every single city in the United States. And that is where you will have the advantage. That is where we blew them out, out the waters from the, the previous screenshot I show you. It's not just because, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, we, 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 we small or something, but because we took advantage of the resources that they can't spend on that. And that's the, the, exactly the reason why we got so much success on our campaigns. And one more time, uh, never give up on our campaigns. Um, if you are, had confidence in your in your campaigns and you got the message right, you had the right target audience, and you picked the right mediums, um, stick it to the end of your campaigns because I hate to see when Kate show me um, when Kate told me about uh, she stopped right midway um, uh, after one month of a campaign without seeing results, and um, even though she told me the entire camp campaign length was about th uh, 90 days, so quitting after just 30 days, um, I mean, I I just fell for um, losing $10,000 without getting results. Um, I know that you guys are all hard working banks, you know, um, uh, every every dollar counts and seeing you lose money uh, is really the hardest thing um, that um, I don't want to see any of you, any of you should, uh, should experience uh, something like that. Okay, let's talk about Facebook. So we talk about Google and uh, I want to share with you the result for the Facebook. So for Facebook campaigns, um, and you have to understand um, um, uh, the, 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 the main difference between uh, Facebook and, and Google. Um, Google is more intention-based um, network or platform, right? You have to have intention. You want to search for something and that intention-based uh, marketing. And for Facebook, I call it is interruption-based marketing. So people on Facebook, they don't want to, and they just want to have fun, right? Uh, maybe um, 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 maybe want to uh, connect with old friends and see how your family's doing, what kind of activities, and you see they, they're on the trend, they, they're on the, 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 the mood of exploring discoveries and stuff, and then your ad show up, that's why I call it uh, disruption or interruption, right? Um, so for Facebook, we got uh, uh, we allocated about $10,000 in ad spent, and we got over 3,000 clicks 
129,000 impressions. And I just want to showcase with you uh, uh, the um, the ads that we ran. So this ad we reach one of the one of the ads that we ran. So we reach over 29,000 uh, people and uh, they got over a thousand uh, clicks. And I guess you can see the level of engagement, the light, the on post and on share, the love and see all of the engagement at the end of the day, we got about 72 reactions, both comments and shares. Uh, again, that's just one ad that we are running um, and we have multiple ad lining up just like Google. We have multiple ad that, um, that will um, uh, address different emotional need for uh, for the target audience. And um, I want to share with you one thing. The common mistake that I saw is that on Facebook that a lot of banks, they target um, their ads in the, um, in the uh, I call it the prime time, which is what from uh, maybe from 8 a.m. They, they think from, from I mean, in the business hours. Uh, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and those are the time where you don't get a lot where you where you have to compete with a lot of businesses because those are the prime time where people get to work they active they they are live so that's why you want to target that that's why a lot of banks a lot of uh, my client um, are trying to uh, target in that time frame um, but if you target that on that time frame you have to compete with a lot of businesses and as a result you pay higher your you you have to pay a premium right your ad will cost you more now um from what we are doing we are targeting we, when everybody zigs we zag right and it you can see from the screen we target from what from midnight to like 9 p.m this from from midnight all the way um, to to uh, to to 9 p.m. and uh, basically we target every day. So we not only target um, the prime time, but we also target the non-prime time, like you know, like midnight to 3 a.m. Then really, uh, um, uh, that is the, the time where people have uh, had some time for yourself after you know maybe they they put they put the kids to to bed, and that's where they have time to check on to check their their, their Facebook, their social media, and you do not want to miss that opportunities, right? Because that's also where uh, conversions or that's where uh, your ad can also perform well. Because if you don't show your ads uh, within those um, those non-prime time, um, you miss the boat, you miss big time. Um, there, there you go, this is the results um, uh, from the campaign. Um, so the cost for result, as you can see, uh, is much cheaper compared to Google's, right? Only two dollars and fifty-four cents compared to uh, the average of like seven or eight dollars on on Google. And once again, the reason why it is cheaper than Google because, like I said, this is more like um, a disruption or I'm sorry, uh, um, interruptions type of marketing versus the intention-based marketing. Um, well, before we go any further, do, do we have any questions from the audience? Nobody's typed anything yet. All right. All right, programmatic ads. Programmatic ads. So we, um, for this one, it's in, this is, so this is my, my favorite um, ad platform. And um, most of the banks do not have access or uh, or know about this platform um, because, uh, of course, it's not they're not um, very popular uh, like Facebook or Google or YouTube. Um, but then, but this, but but it can be described as a digital billboard which can follow you anywhere when you are online. So that's the best way to describe it. And uh, for the programmatic ads. We spent um, over seventeen thousand dollars. We got over eleven thousand clicks, and over two point five million uh, impressions uh, for programmatic ads. And I'm going to highlight uh, some of the um, the, um, uh, the high-performing ads um, that we that we ran. 
So again, this is making sense of wealth management. You get uh, over 65,000 impressions, 64 clicks. Uh, making sense of IRA and tax planning, 81 clicks and over 100,000 impressions. This is considered one of the highest performing ads we ever created. Um, making sense of investment and estate planning, uh, 96,000 impressions, 74 clicks. Um, and all of that, what we found is that the top five traffic destinations are people.com, weather.com, nasdaq.com, aqueweather.com, foxnews.com. And imagine, imagine, how can you buy, how can you place your ads, your banner ads on those high, on those highly traffic uh, web properties like Fox News or weather.com, right? They don't just sell the ad. I mean, you, you got to go from a different channel to really put your banner ad in those sites. And um, um, the um, one of the the most interesting or the 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 the, the, the creature uh, the feature I like the, the, the most is that um, besides it it is working so well, you can also target based on the location of your target audience. Well, in this case, as you can see, my target audience is uh, my client. They want to target for the uh, the, 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 the Denton uh, areas and the Dallas Fort Worth areas, and th there you go. It's so that you don't, you know. So besides the, the reach of the programmatic ads, you can narrow down the target, the geographic area that you want to target, so that you know you don't waste your ad money. So that's some of the best thing I love about it. Um, I want to go through one more time those four campaigns that we ran for them simultaneously. And this one for general wealth management. And um, for any of you who, who have um, a similar products, you may want to take notes because um, uh, basically this is the, the intelligence that uh, even if you have money, you, 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 you can't just pay anybody to give you this, this intelligence. But today I'm giving you for free to you, right? For example, with the general wealth management, from what we're seeing, right, we got over uh, seven seven hundred thirty-four thousand impressions. Um, as you can see, we got over twenty-five hundred clicks. But look at what happened: the the ratio between men and women, men and women, right? So thirty-eight percent to men, sixty-one percent to women, and you can see the similar ratio uh, uh, as far as for the clicks go. Now, what does it mean to you? It means that if you have a wealth management campaign, and if you target men, if you if you put all of your advertising money into men, you are doing it wrong. Why? Because the most you can get is only 38%, whatever from uh, from from your target money, right? That is exactly the insight I want you to take note. Because if you did not, you would waste your money on men. If you if you put all your eggs into men, because well, wealth management, well, maybe. Men will be the primary target. They may have, they make more money, right? No, it's not. Women, right? 61% of women, 80-20 rules right there. So that's exactly what you need to pay attention, take notes, and see, and then you can you can design your message targeting to women. And then you, of course, and then with this ratio, what does it mean? It means that you will allocate your budget accordingly. You target you, you you allocate your budget more to a woman and less to a man, right? Because that's it where women respond the most. Next one, investment, investment and estate planning. Again, once again, we had over seven hundred uh, seven hundred twenty-two thousand impressions, um, over twenty-seven hundred uh, clicks, and you can see that. Uh, it, it splits it splits between men and and, and women, right? Fifty four percent, forty five percent. So it's a you know kind of balance might make a uh, mix. IRA uh, uh, tax planning. Once again, uh, eight hundred seventeen thousand impressions, uh, about thirty eight hundred clicks, and and there you go. You should be proper need to uh, pay attention with this campaign because uh, once again, RRA and tax planning, you thought, okay, maybe men, we target men more, but <laughs> look at what happened. We have a 36 to, uh, we have 36 to 
63% uh, between men and women. So similar to the wealth management campaign, you probably want to pay more attention to um, uh, uh, to the women and allocate more women uh, allocate more uh, advertising budget toward the the woman bucket than the man bucket. All right, let's talk about Pandora ads. Pandora ads, and like I said, these type of uh, mediums they are not really readily available um, for uh, for banks because of the um, because you got to know the wrap, you got to have uh, the minimum spend. The reason why those tools are available, the like programmatics and Pandora ads are, are available to us because we've been helping uh, many clients and we reach the the spend threshold and we agency. So that's why uh, we have more tools, more ammunition. Uh, to help you reach your goals. So for Pandora ads, as you can see, uh, Pandora um, is, a, is an app where you can listen to music just like Spotify, and and this is a great tool, right? Not only people you 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 um, you reach them, uh, you use the the, the audio uh, tool. That's why you're trying to reach as many senses as possible. People have five senses now. You use banner ads. They may, do, may be doing a good job of, of capturing your attention from the visual standpoint, but how about the audio standpoint, right? So that's why we spent about $10,000 and we got uh, over 392 impressions, impressions, um, 191 clicks on. Um, so there you go, it's some of the screenshot that, that, we, that, I, that I took, uh, Amy Grant, radio stations. Uh, at LA radio stations and um, we show a different type of offers uh, for um, for for them so quite interesting okay before going further will do we have any questions from the audience nothing so far awesome I'm gonna take a sip of water all right so how to design your landing page for more conversions and more deposits like I mentioned last time, if you uh, watch the webinar with me and uh, Chris Nichols, and I, um, I went really um, deep into uh, the landing page uh, for Capital One and uh, Chase, and you can see um, um, landing page can uh, lead can 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 turn into uh, billion billions of dollars, billion billions of dollars in uh, in profit, but also if doing it wrong. <clears throat> You can lose, you know, billions of dollars, and so that's why we spend a lot of time to refine the landing page um, based on um, the uh, the story, based on um, the the style and the and the history of the bank. So, for example, as you can see on the screen, the retirement planning, right? And we have uh, we have written copies that you can as, as you saw, and then. Uh, we just have a very simple button, the call to action button to request more information, request information, because because we want to take the next step. What is the next step? When you request information, right? That is exactly what you, what we aim to do uh, with our audience. Uh, investment and brokerage uh, services, uh, same deal. Um, and we we write copies, and then as you can see, uh, we use a simple call to action button, request information across the board. And that's how it, 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 that helps us uh, track the um, the performance easily across the board. Um, there you go. This is on the mobile side, right? So I show you the desktop side, and this is a mobile side where uh, you can, you know, like on the first screen or the above the fold, you can see uh, the call to actions very clearly and what the service is all about. Um, so, guys, yeah, that's really um, that's really the the all of the, the three or the four things I want to share with you all of um, about the the, um, the client I'm working with. So, and this is where um, before the webinars I asked myself, you know, I can share with what you uh, I ask I ask myself two questions, right? So either the first option is that uh, I share with you the information today. And then you go home, and hopefully you'll figure out what happens and reverse engineer what I have over here, what we have over here, and and, and trying to put that into into actions and maybe experiment your your hard-earned money um, with uh, with your campaigns. Or the second option I think of is that what if 
I can, I can, we can, we can collaborate, or we can develop some sort of collaborative relationship where I could, I could be uh, in the in the role of helping you and advising you the best tactic, the best strategy, so that you can design um, the best campaign to increase the deposit. And with that in mind, I want to introduce the deposit uh, GPS. It is a service to help um, your bank uh, grow deposits. Uh, provide more value uh, to your customers and uh, increase uh, your asset valuations. And it, it is the same process, the same framework that um, that I used to um, to achieve over 4,000% in ROI for our client and, and really uh, double the asset uh, for our client as well. And as you can see, uh, we got consistent result, not only achieving 4,000% in ROI, doubling the asset, but we also have, you know, consistently doubling the checking account uh, for our client as well. So, and um, and uh, um, I, I really, I really believe that uh, with with the track of record and also the um, we work with also work with um, Center State Bank uh, with Chris Nichols uh, to help them designing a campaign for multi states. Um, um, so to, uh, that's really a huge campaigns and we are going to uh, share document or share the journey with you um, in the next couple of months. And uh, here's the best way you can get a hold of me. You can call my office, email to me, uh, you, or if you want to learn more about um, about a profit GPS, you know, feel free to schedule an appointment at brandmatebank.com forward slash 15th and uh, we can get together and, and then um, try to understand your situations and uh, 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 to um, maybe help you answer some questions. Okay, well, do we have any questions from the audience? No, nope, no questions. All right. So uh, appreciate your time today, and uh, um, uh, feel free to reach out, and um, um, I'll I'll see you um, very soon with uh, with more webinar and more education uh, with uh, with me and Chris, and I'm I'm looking forward uh, to that. All right, everybody. Have a great day.